Hi guys, it's me again, Jessica. I'm your host on this channel, Just Signatures. And um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing the quickest tutorial ever, which is how to cut a waistband. This waistband, you can use it for either your pants block or your skirts block. As long as you follow this tutorial, you get your perfect waistband any day, any time. Why I say perfect? There are different kinds of waistbands you see outside. Um, there are some waistbands that when you wear it, it's um, kind of poking out from your waist and it's not flattering on the body. But if you follow this particular um, tutorial, trust me, whenever you make any um, fab any attire that has waistbands, that ha yeah, that has waistbands, trust me, it's going to come out well, it's going to be snatched, it's going to be flattering on your body and you thank me, okay? So if you're interested in watching this, please follow me to the workstation. And have you subscribed to my channel? Please do subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, also, don't forget to like and share also. Leave your comment in the comment section down below. If you have any suggestion whatsoever, please leave it also in the comment down below. And if there's any video you would like me to do, please send me the picture of what you want me to recreate on my social media platforms. Thank you. To get the waistband for your skirt, you follow the curved line along the skirt part. Remember when we were making the skirt pattern, we came down by half an inch. So I made a curved line. That is the curved line we're going to follow. And while you're doing it, you fold in your dart. Make sure your dart is already folded in. You fold in your dart and pin it down and then follow the curve line. Because that is why the waistband will sit very well on your skin, on your body. Because of this curve. Because the human body is not straight. Next thing to do is to take your measurement, your waistband measurement. How wide do you want the waistband to be? It could be one inch, one and a half, two inches, two and a half, three inches, four inches. Depends on what you want. Like here, I'm using two and a half inches, 2.5. So what I do is I'll continue following the curved line. I'll continue following the curved line because we want the curve at the top part of the waistband and at the bottom part of the waistband. This is why it will sit properly on your body without having all of those puckering. Or if you notice some skirts that you wear, after wearing it, it does not sit flat on your body. If you do just a straight line for the waistband, that is what will happen. But if you do this curved one, oh, trust me, you're good to go. Then you join the side together. Remember that this waistband is having seam allowance already on the edge because the skirt has seam allowance on the edge. If you don't want it to have on the edge, then it means you remove the seam allowance from the skirt parts first before drawing in your waistband just indicated the fold line because it's folded into two and now the next thing to do is to draw uh, is to mark out your seam allowance for the top and bottom parts only like i said before the side part already has two inches allowance from the skirt pattern now if you don't want up to that two inches allowance you can remove that two inches and put your half an inch or one inch that you want, but take in the two inches from the skirt. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I hope you do. Now I've finished marking the half an inch allowance along the top part of the waistband. And then I'll follow also that curved line to draw in the line make sure you follow the curve line it's not super super curvy but the curve is there for it to be able to sit well on your body after doing that 
I'll cut out the upper part of the band because I need that half an inch allowance also on the bottom part and as you can see my pattern paper has been exhausted down there so I need to add pattern paper to it so after cutting out the extra pattern paper I just taped it down to the down part after taping it down I'm measuring half an inch also on the down part following the curve always remember to follow the curve this is the perfect waistband for any skirt or even trouser if you are making pants and you make your pants you draw the curve line in front of your pants follow this method in this waistband tutorial and make a waistband for that pant trust me you will not regret it and you thank me for that after doing that i also use my ruler to follow the line the curved line remember the lines you are drawing here they are not straight you follow the curved line and then draw it out Now, after drawing it out, you can see that we already have half an inch allowance at the top and we have half an inch allowance at the bottom part. Then, the next thing to do is to cut it out. Carefully cut it out. Remember the other side, the edge here, you don't need any seam allowance because there's already seam allowance from the pattern. Just cut it out. After cutting it out, you label it front waistband. The same thing you did for the front is what you do for the back waistband. The only difference is the zip allowance at the back. You add the zip allowance because I'll be using it to cover the zip. Thank you very much for watching.